It's one thing to pray for you to marry. It's another thing to stay in the marriage and walk in submission. And if you come to the place that I must work for this man to trust me. I must work for this woman to trust me. I've seen 30 years married break. I've seen it. I've seen great men of God that preach about marriage, lost their marriage. I've seen it. Now who calls her? This is the what I'll say about marriage. It doesn't take one person to marry. So no matter how you are married and the woman is growing in maturity and the man is not maturing, it affects the marriage. If the man is maturing and do everything, the woman is not maturing, it affects the marriage. So both must grow. All forces. Pack marriage books by your bedside as a woman and read them. Mm -hmm. Refresh yourself. Don't just finish fasting and pray and go back and turn your home like Afghanistan versus uh, Al Qaeda. Don't turn it that way. Peace is not automatic. All the fruit of the spirit, you pay price to walk in them. But the fruit of spirit is love. Love is not something you get it like a gift. You work. Joy. You work to get joy. Peace. It doesn't come automatic. Are you getting it? If your husband doesn't trust you, he says, Give me an evidence. He doesn't have evidence. He doesn't have evidence. Your misbehaving is the evidence. So you work out. This guy doesn't like this thing. Let me stop doing it. And like I said again, silence cannot be misquoted. If you keep quiet, nobody can quote you. This is what he said. You didn't say anything. Some of you are praying very hard, but you don't have, we are not working in wisdom. We are praying very hard. I told one woman, I said, listen, don't let children separate your marriage. The husband of city said, Daddy, I can't even take a cup in the house. Leave my children's cup. Leave this. And I said, You are just immature. I said, These children, one day they will leave you. When they leave you and you have not bonded, you'll be lonely. There is nothing side like the children you put your heart in it. I read a book of a psychology. There's a book called Every Woman. It's a very big book. Read it. Now, watch this. Then he says something. He says, a lot of marriage break, even sometimes when children start coming in. Yeah. A lot of immature women shape their love from their husband and put it. It's like women in ministry. They marry far until God starts calling them. Then they don't know how to balance between ministry and marriage. Most of them, most of the married that break, pastor's wife or woman we call it, that is it. They couldn't divide between being a wife and being a minister. They feel that the man should accept that they are called. And they leave the weightier matters of the law. And it calls them. And they have to learn in a painful way. You don't need any effort to jump from here. Which will grab ball and found. Amen. You see why I jump here? Eh? If I go and stand here and I'm jumping, hmm, I'll be a little cautious than this one. Making sure I say, name my day. By the time Namia Dumbe do her, if you are jumping, you look at it. This one, this is the way you jump. It means you are very careful. Oh, Tane, Some people, eh, their marriage is at this height and they are trying to jump. So they become a casualty of what is it? This is it. If you jump from a marriage here and break your leg, the impact will not be strong. But if you jump from a marriage of this height, they will try to repair your leg. 
But by the time they remove the POP and the casts, you are 99 years old. 